Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to finish off the whole rad support crash bar and all that on the ST and um, try and get what we can on it and I'm going to try and get the bonnet on. It's going to smash it loads of the hammer. We've got Jack here with no overspray gun. Oh, he's, you're fully blacking the whole thing. Oh. I've got to stick that on the minute. It's been nice and wet. <laughs> Yeah, you're doing it, aren't you? Yeah. Jack's got his thick wide body, rear booty on. He's wided it, he's gone thick. Go thick or go home, I guess you could say. It looks sick. Uh, we'll do another video soon on that. You'll make this for the other day. I think I'm filming his mini soon. Well, the artist sits, Liberty Walk. Yeah. He's mapped his though, isn't he? Hard to turbo, 300. Why haven't you done that to yours? Well, I've a turbo. Yeah. He's like the only person who done it in the UK for his engine up. That was him, wasn't it? No, it's not Oh, well, he ain't. So there's two now. It's an R56. Oh, they're all the same thing, aren't they? No, they're not. You got F56, R56. The ones have got no wheels. Hard. But yeah, I've got this welded back up, this bracket. Massive shout out to Steve for doing that. Um, he also said it, the payment for that was to say that James is a nonce, and whenever I ask James to weld something, he always sort of doesn't do it. Apart from my source, shout out for that. But he didn't do it. I kept asking him, he didn't do it. And then Steve was like, I'll do it for you. So shout out to Steve for that, but yeah, I'm gonna try and make this look a bit more like a car. Hopefully, get rid of the um, cable tie management for hanging all this on because I mean, it's good, not gonna lie, but it doesn't really work for very long. And probably take that out, oh, rip that arch runner out because it's just shattered, but yeah, should be all right. We got the scuttle going back on top, then I can have window wipers again, that'll be hard, but um. Yeah, like I said, the bottle's got a leak in it, so I need to get rid of that. The coolant I've topped up again, because it's quite low, it's probably quite strong now though. But, it should be right, this should be dry now, it's actually well sunny today. No worries pointing this at the sun. But yeah, this is probably dry now, because we only put one coat of it on. Yeah, it's not really sticky or nothing, seems alright. So we'll get that on, and then we'll have everything sort of mounted on, then there shouldn't be no problem moving it about. We won't have to use as many cable tyres. And then out of the mound of like broken parts in the corner, I'm gonna try and get on what I can back onto the car just for the sake of it, because it saves space. And obviously, I might as well reuse what I can to save me money where possible. But I did find a problem yesterday on this, but I haven't shown anyone yet. But I've ordered the parts, so I'll show you that in a second. But yeah, this is the um, this is what the bonnet's right there and there, but. It'll go on, do you know what I mean? It'll work for the time being. You don't need to look pretty. It just needs to have some sort of bonnet. And it takes up a lot of space anyway. I have left my tripod at home. James's diesel shit if yes, for blocking in my unit, because it's nonce. So me and Jack are now gonna put that crash bar on and as much as we can, there's a lot of snap stuff, but I'm gonna leave you on this car as a tripod because I've left mine at home. So enjoy this time lapse. That's a pretty hard spot. <laughs> If you can tell, we needed some slight adjustment with the hammer. Basically, obviously, where these brackets are a bit bent up, I've had to whack them in, but now they're actually in place. This is obviously a lot more secure. The top one, the fixing's actually missing. It's like, see, it got ripped out, but it's not moving anywhere anyway. I'm going to loosen that and tighten it back down because it, it was already on, so I want it more pressure down. Tighten this to that. It's all pretty much going in. All right, I'm just trying to work out how the mounting of the um, the integral is going to be because I'm not too sure how the bottom under tray bit is going to go. So it's going to be interesting to see how it's going to fit in, but it should be all right. All right, we've done water bottle thing, washer bottle delete because it was leaking anyway, and then horn delete because I'm probably going to put a, a steam one anyway. And Bobby did say he has a boss kit for this. So I just need to get steering wheel now and then I've got a sick race car. That's looking all good. Now it's the fun part. I'm going to hit it with a hammer lots of times. But we just need the front curvature to be flat. I don't know whether to mount it on here first or just lay it down and whack it loads. Just lay it down and give it a whack. 
Also, lanyards, I'm pretty sure are sold out now, like, in a day. So that's mad. So if anyone still wants one, comment down below and I might get some more made. Alright, do we stand on it? Yeah. Oh, oh god. That's, that's this is probably a bad idea. Oh, yeah. Yeah, go on, keep going. Yeah. I think that's a bit better, isn't it? Oh, Probably stand in the middle one again. <laughs> don't worry about that. No, don't worry about that. We can kick punch that when it's on there, do you know What's this like? That's a bit better, isn't it? It's just so it sort of sits on it. And then there's a crease here. But I think that'll be alright to be honest. Might hit with a hammer there. Like on the back. You can't get to it. You know, oh, it's got all the reinforced bit. Get a screwdriver and put it Nah, nah, I ain't that bothered. Oh, we'll just whack it on. Do you have the power? Oh shit. Oh fuck. Flexing. Yeah, I thought you could do it on your own. I mean, we should have really got the nuts first, but it'll be fine. You got the nuts? I ain't. Yeah, they're in that tray. Oh yeah, shit. Holding the camera while I'm doing this is quite hard. Lean it forward. Oh. This is going exactly how I planned it. I knew this, this is what I wanted to do. You know what I mean? Jeez, look at that bonnet. Looking mighty fine. It's a bit rough around the edges, but um, we've also noticed that when I take this off the hose on, It sort of um, doesn't have anywhere to go. So yeah, like this bar just sort of hovers about a bit. So then what's going on with that? But ow, I've been resting that on my head the whole time. It fucking hurts. So and it works. I got that. But if I pull this out quick, just fucking put it up the top. You know, love that. I can actually. Try it and the latch comes on. Look at that, looks more like a car. Just in the sort, we still need a cable tie in the corner, but that'll be alright. Um, sort out the alignment on this because you can see it's a bit off. Kind of looks like we've got them old spoiler, right? No, the bonnet rises <laughs> on. And I've actually wedged it under there, but. And um, the side skirt, I'm not sure what to do. I think it just needs new clips. It's not that damaged, it's scuffed up, but it's hidden underneath. This rear bumper, we have noticed, because it actually has two sort of self-tapping bits that go into here, these need the brackets, but I need to order them. But until that, because I'm just trying to make more space in the unit, because I looked at that photo from when I first got the unit, and then now, and the amount of just shit. I mean, that, that probably doesn't help, the amount of broken parts. But it looks so much worse. And like a month ago, it's ten times better. So I'm trying to declutter. That's gonna have to go in the bin because it's useless. I'll probably just take like the bottom grills and that out and try to sell them to some kid on eBay with a one litre rep. But um, we're gonna hang this on now with just the self tapping bits and it should be fine. <laughs> Do you like the one litre rep bit? One litre reps, my Alright, let's get it on. I'm gonna use that as a fucking mount. Should I put these in Uh, no, I'm only gonna hang them for a bit. That's a pretty good little mountain spot. I've held it for you, but I've not got a shoe on. Look at that. Come on, we've actually got a Fiesta ST again. We got bonnets on, we got rear bumper and diffuser on. I actually quite like it without an exhaust on the back either. It looks quite cool. But yeah, that bit won't prop in properly, but we're gonna get new brackets anyway. I just wanted this out of the way. But um, for some reason, Brandon sold these bits. <laughs> it looks a bit strange, seen like that. So if anyone has these for sale, or knows where I can buy them, please let me know. Because I think you have to like hook them and staple them in. Do you know what I mean? It just looks a bit weird. <laughs> Doesn't it? That's, tr that's weight reduction to the maximum. Take it all. But yeah, and it's sort that out. Rear reflectors, I'm not too fussed about. Like, it's not a legal obligation to run rear reflectors as long as we've got brake lights and that. You need that fog light though. That's fine. Nah, you don't need them. 
<laughs> but um, this one, I'm interested to see next. This has got shit loads of broken clips in it though, so I don't really know what's going on with this. Don't know whether I can just buy a whole new clip, so I've got to buy a whole new side skirt. So, but this is all ripped to shit, and that in there, there's a wishbone, like a wishbone. The bushing's all sort of cracked, and it's got oil coming out of it. So um, I ordered a new one of them last night, like a genuine Ford part, but I got it quite cheap, for like 25 quid of eBay. So hopefully that comes alright. And as soon as I start the wheels, because I've dead the ST wheels, these ain't mine. But um, yeah, I'll buy some wheels when I can. And tyres, because the tyres are fucked. Also need seats. But like I said, the list goes on. This car is looking like a car again. The headlights, we're quickly going to tiger seal where one of them has a big crack underneath it. So we've got, luckily I bought tiger seal the other day, so we're going to tiger seal it up now. Here we have the beast of a headlight. Here we have tiger seal. I'm going to try and fill in this hole and this crack. I'm, I'm not very good with tiger seal, so God knows how it's going to turn out. We've got Jack's Mini in now because he's doing some crazy ass diffuser bits. He's taking off the stock rib. You taking the bump or the diffuser off? Or does it come separately? Just try and do diffuser, but I might have to take bump off. Yep, my F camera is playing up, but yeah, so he's taking that off. Um, he's got this sick boy mini works, like strut bar ace and that. It looks sick, this car, like, it's wide as fuck. And the diffuser is out here. Shit's crazy. Like, even that front lip and that just looks so savage. But yeah, uh, that's the delivery diffuser. <laughs> Look at the size of it. It's ridiculous. Looks so cool. But yeah, the Fiesta's out here. Looks really good. Like, I'm real happy with how it's turning out. It just looks like a normal car again, obviously apart from the front bit, but it's getting there, do you know what I mean? It looks a lot better than it did when it came in, and that's sort of coming up to being ready now, I just need parts, and I also just run over my side skirt, so that's probably going to need a new one now. Might Tiger set it on, I was just talking about that, but yeah, doing the headlight now, um, yeah, this is looking good. So, let's get to Tiger sitting. Ching! Right, I've, I've figured out the problem. And now as soon as we can go no nozzle and just fill this bitch up. And it's actually coming out thick as fuck now. And I'm just literally going to layer it on top of each other. The headlight is probably not going to fit in the fixing now, but I'll just cut it down on the old the old tiger seals when I need to. And now I'm just going to fill where there's a crack. I just don't want water and shit getting inside it. And it definitely ain't getting through that. But yeah, that seems to pretty much do the job. But I'm just going to like... I'm going to push it in and shit with this. Just make it actually... Like I said, it ain't meant to look pretty, it's just meant to seal it up. Which I think it's going to do. Because if it ain't, fuck knows, I've just had a lot of weight to car for no reason. Like that. Now I'm going to leave it to seal, because otherwise I'm going to keep making a bigger hole. But, hole sealed until it rains and I find out I've completely fucked it up. But it looks alright to me. Now I'm going to get back to giving Jack a hand because I've just been sealing holes up for about a fucking hour. Getting that wide boil on, this is going to look fat. It's still a bit wet, we're just trying to line it up and notice the bank's still wet. A bit too many coats. But I've just been sort of going through all the fucking... I've lost a ratchet, three quarter ratchet, love that. I've just been going through the parts, That's that needs to go in the bin. I'll keep these just because I've, someone probably want to buy them. But no, one of the tyres ain't too bad, but uh, yeah, I'm not too sure that's going to fit back on. That is obviously fucked. I might as well throw that. And then the bottom trim bit I might as well throw because it's not really going to go on because there's nothing to hold it on. Their headlight's fine, it's just sat down there for a bit. And we're just trying to sort Jack's wide way out. But it's got like, we took the bracket off the other side and then you've got the heat shield. And because it's like a straight pipe, but not straight pipe car. Wow. This a valve shape, but I'm like, it's sick how it works. The JCW is also mad. But um, we've got to work out how the heat shield works because obviously they are massive to put on. And obviously, it's a lot of stuff that sort of gets in the way. But I'm not sure I'm going to go about it, I might just start cutting them up. But we'll get them there. We'll get there. It's going to make your, tiny, your tips look tiny, though. Yeah. going to need some like seven inch batons. I'd like to bring them out here. Yeah, just go up here like that, this high. JDM spec. Yeah, it looked hard. German JDM. It's flame shooting out of top. We'll just put those of like cucumbers in there, can fire out of top. I'll see if it works first. Where, where did you grab that? Where did you cop that fine Einhell and grinder? Let's grind. 
this crime boy. Oh, by the way, we've decided to cut all that off for weight reduction, and because it's ten times easier to fit through the self tapping holes here, I'm using my old wheel as a as a mount, but it's going to be disgusting because it's fiberglass. So I'm gonna stand back. He's got his sunglasses on for protection. Gone. Oh, yeah. Like a hot knife through butter. Mask. But we don't have any. So there you go. And Iron Hell is doing bits, he's cutting that like hot knife with butter. That's a shout out to Iron Hell. Best tools about I've got the impact gun, I've got the drill, I've got the hand grinder, I've got the torch, and hopefully I should be getting a lot more of it soon as well to sort of fill out the workshop. Maybe get like a banner of theirs up in here. But we grinding stuff today, we grinding. Independent review on Einhow Angle Grinder. That's actually pretty sick. Right there. Uh, my description was hot knife through butter. No, it's alright. It's alright. It's like, it like brings out speed slowly, so it's alright. It's alright. There we go. We did right bits. Right we dusty. I said that um, we should have masks, but we we, we don't have the funds. <laughs> yeah, the, um, the clear mask. Yeah. For um, safety. Clear coat mask. But yeah, let's see how this fits on quick. It'll be interesting to see. It's gonna look fat boy. Yeah. And then it's going to be 10 times easier to fit this way as well, so... Oh, by the way, Jack's not leaving this with like a half as rattle can job, it's just for a photo shoot. And then we're getting it professionally painted. Oh god, this is not going well. Bear with. So we'll just put the first part on, we've double sided taped it up, and got some self tabs and washers on, just for like a part fixing. Um, then you've got to do the other side, and I think there's a bit in between that sort of connects it. Should look sick. It looks a bit like the um, GP2 one, but like a lot less subtle. I think it'd be a good way of wording it, but it is sick. I love these cars. I love the GP2s, but this sort of looks like the, what the GP3 should have looked like. I guess you could say this kit in it. Yeah. Like it's got you've got the seat delete now, which comes on GPs. You've got exhaust, suspension, arches, wide beach. Yeah, it looks mad. It is very out there. And he's at he's at the big far show sunshine, you know. Go check it out. Go check it out if you're a far show. I don't know when it is, but it's sometime soon. End of this month. End of the month. E9. Even the steering wheel looks mad. Rate that. Flat bottom, Alcantara and perforated leather with carbon fibers. Sick. And some fresh Nike Air Forces. Ooh baby. Essex starter pack. White Air Force Ones, jeez, <laughs> and a skin paint, fucking hell, state of it. Now that looks fucking savage, I'd love something like that on the Mark 7 ST. Look at it, jeez. It's only temporary fitted in as it is for now, it's sort of like self tapered and double side tape, but you're going to bond it in as well, aren't you? Yeah, you're going to tiger seal. Tiger seal, that piece But it needs it's professional painting. But to be fair, for like a, a two minute rattle can halfage job, it it's come out pretty good. Giant, and it looks sick on the car. Like it really does make the whole car come complete now. But um, we'll get this out a bit, and uh, you'll be able to see it a bit better. And then I uh, look fat. It makes my my beautiful Fiesta look like a piece of shit. Well, to be fair, from this side it does because I'm missing the side skirt and I've got Mark six wheels on it and all dents. But yeah, Jackson Mini is fucking savage. This is an F56. Best F56 in the game, y'all. Oh, Look at that. Oh, oh, his phone goes off more than mine. Jesus, mad. Fiesta is looking like a car again in here. Now, front crash bar paint job looks banging as well. Um, I have no actual supports for this intercooler, so I've cable tied it up. But the air to motor support stage for intercooler clamps on like here that like you drill into the crash bar and hang it off. So my fault is, what's the point of doing that if I'm getting that and then it will hold that up more? So hopefully 
that will do for now. Like, I doubt I'll be driving on the road anytime soon anyway. Because still got to buy insurance and sort that stuff out in the wheels and that. And then I think there's a problem with the brake and there's a line leak. And there's loads of still, still little things wrong with it. But it's coming more drivable. And I'm going to put an actual decent battery on it as well. Jack's car is looking like a thick boy right now. Jeez, check out the gram. That mini guy, you know. But I'll wrap it up for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit a like, comment down below, hit the subscribe button, and yeah, I've been it's filming this really weird because the screen, I can't see where I am. It's really pissing me off. But yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Also, we sold out in lanyards, so thank you so much, everyone. They sold in under 24 hours. That's a lot of fucking lanyards. Um, like I said, let me know if you want to see some more. But uh, I'll see you boys next one. Peace.